Hey guys, I am back again with another video, and as you can tell, this is on guinea pigs. So, I went back to my channel, and I realized I haven't done a guinea pig video in a bit, and I decided to do one because I went back to see which ones I had done and which ones I hadn't done, and I saw that I had done an illness video, but I can't really recall, like, if I had put symptoms, symptoms in there. I know I did with the certain diseases, but I think just an overall... I think I'm going to do like an overall thing that you need to watch out for and I'm going to start with the biggest one and to me the biggest one out there that you need to look out for not an illness but a symptom of any sickness or anything is not eating or drinking that is obviously a huge sign not, not, right there, not what they're doing right now because you know this is totally normal but if they're not eating at all and right now it kind of no it doesn't look like it right there but you know Put a lot of hay in there, food in there, and I need to put some more stuff in there because they've been eating it. But if they've not ate for at least a few, at least a few hours, like don't go by two. I don't really monitor my guinea pigs to see how often they eat. I know they eat pretty much just about like every 30 minutes to an hour. Mine do. I see them over here eating. Like a few minutes from now, they'll probably go back over there and they'll start eating again. But what I mean is, if it's been like a day and they've not ate. Or drink anything then yeah you definitely need to start like being on the watch if not go ahead and take them to the vet because something could seriously be wrong and these thing these little pigs here are really 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 hard to tell if they are sick or if they um well yeah let's just leave it like that they're really hard to tell if they're sick so another one is lethargy they're going to be very lethargic if they are sick and you've taken them to the doctor, that's going to be one of the symptoms that they're going to tell you. Another one is drooling. Now, none of my guinea pigs have ever been sick, but, like, yeah, none of my guinea pigs have ever been sick. I've never seen them drool, so I'm pretty sure, like, that's not a common thing that they do. I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be a common thing that they do. So, if you see your guinea pig drooling, you may want to be like, uh-oh. So, another one is probably going to be, I'm going to have to look here because I can't remember the other one. Labored breathing and wheezing. So, I can kind of say that I've heard mine wheeze before. And don't get the wheezing confused with the sneeze because sometimes I'm just like, I can't tell the difference. Because Maddie here sounds a little weird sometimes and I can't tell if she's like wheezing or sneezing. But the sneeze is like really, really quick. It's kind of like a high pitch noise. And our cough is like that too. Their cough is really weird. And sometimes, right around now, since it's October, you'll start to hear them cough. Like my cough throughout the year. So it's kind of common, I guess, that your guinea pigs will cough. But don't let them be coughing like every few minutes or something could be wrong. Like they, they catch a disease kind of like pneumonia. It's kind of just like a cold to them, but a cold to these pigs or is like a common cold to us is not going to do anything to us anymore, but to them, it's, even that can be deadly. So you need to watch out for them coughing, wheezing, or sneezing. Labored breathing, you can kind of hear that. It's kind of like very loud. I've never heard mine do it, but I've listened to videos just so I know what it's going to sound like and be aware of it. So you need to like watch videos on it because I don't have any pulled up and mine definitely don't do it so I don't even know why this says so just watch out for it the hunched posture is kind of um I've never seen one hunched over before but I'm assuming that's where their back kind of drops in a bit and Gabby she kind of has a tendency to do that sometimes kind of like this little um hunched posture like she'll be sitting right there and she'll be eating and her back will be kind of like caved in like just a little bit but I don't worry about that because that's not like 24-7 another one which is not on that list I just know it because all animals will do it we will even do it it's dullness of coat of a coat so like if Maddie here she's solid white so if she goes kind of like loses her shine or Gabby loses her shine which right now they should be in particularly shiny because I give them baths and you may want to give the bath to your guinea pig at least every three months if that I don't give mine that often but you know they get it when they stink and that's 
surprisingly, not often. But that's another thing that causes sickness is giving your guinea pig a bath often. Like, I know it sounds weird, but they actually have something in their coat that they kind of need, and you don't need to be taking it out a lot. So, just don't give them a bath, like, every week or two. Some people do that. I've heard once or twice a year. I do it based on how I feel they need to be bathed, and that's every few months. Just depends how often they smell. And when they smell, you know, give them a bath. That's probably a good sign right there. Also, if they get a dullness of coat, and both of them are starting to do that, so... Before you even, like, start to say your guinea pigs are sick, give them a bath and see if it changes them. But make sure that they are warm because that's another quick sign, I mean, another quick way to get sick, catch pneumonia, or just a simple cold, which can also kill these little guys. Hey, Gabby. Crusty eyes and sneezing which I've already went over sneezing but crusty eyes Gabby here I'm pretty sure I've already told this story on my channel once but if you're new and are just watching this for the illnesses crusty eyes is pretty much it can get so bad that like they can't open their eye but what it looks like is this is brown stuff around the rings of their eye and that's the little pink thing around their eye I don't know if you can see it on Maddie's but hers is pink her eyes closed right now partially that's the pink around her eye, okay? So if it gets brown and, like, stuff starts coming off of it, that's what's called crusty eye. And a lot of them get it. Even cats get it. And that's kind of, like, if you have a cat, that's what that is. It's exactly the same thing on a guinea pig, but it's a little bit more deadly to them. And if you do not get it resolved quickly, they can actually get really sick off of it, even worse than what they are when they first con contract it. And it can eventually kill them off. So it needs to be treated right away if you start to suspect that your guinea pig has crusty eye. Gabby here did have it when I bought her. I treated it with some type of medicine, and unfortunately I do not have it with me right now, or else I would tell you. But I'm pretty sure if you go online or to your local vet, they'll give you something, because it treated hers within two or three weeks of having her. And I'm pretty sure it was this eye. I'm almost positive that it's that eye. And you have to put it on both of them just to make sure they don't get sick. And it cured it. Like, I was so happy. Because it got bigger as I was putting it on there. It just kept growing. And I'm like, oh my gosh, she's going to lose her eye. Because it swells the eye also. That's another symptom of the crusty eye. It'll start with that stuff. It'll get really thick. Um, don't worry about, like, the whiteness out of their eye sometimes. Because sometimes they'll secrete this white stuff that comes out of their eye. That's actually how they bathe their eye. And so, if they contact contract crusty eye then they're not bathing themselves often enough because sometimes they'll you know if you ever seen a squirrel do it a squirrel will do it they'll do it the same way as a guinea pig would so they'll sit there and like take their little paws through their face that's how they're doing that and then they'll secrete the white stuff that comes out of their eye and that's actually cleaning them so don't ever worry about that because I totally flipped out I didn't know what that was I thought I knew everything about a guinea pig but that was obviously like what was that <laughs> But that's what that is after doing a little bit of research and looking at images. That's what that was, even my vet told me. So, don't worry about that. That's just them trying to protect ourselves from crusty eye. And I'm pretty sure this is all the symptoms. There's possibly more. That's just the only ones that I can think of off the top of my head. That's the most important ones. So, if you like this video, give me a like and subscribe because I try to do videos every, every few weeks. So remember to share and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.